Testing. This thing on. All right. Hey, what up, Grind Time Nation? Welcome back to the next episode of Grind Time TV. I am Coach Alex Morocco. You know the deal. Pronounced just like the country and spelled nothing like it. You know, I'm not your typical basketball coach. I'm not your typical skills coach, as you can probably tell. I'm a little bit different than the rest of the pack. You know, I got some tricks up these sleeves, and I want to tell you about one of them today, all right? So let me ask you a question. Do you ever feel great at the gym? Like, you ever get in that, that zone or that peak state, I guess you could call it, where everything is going right, shots are falling, your handles feel good, your defense, like everything is just flowing. You're in the zone. Everything just feels right. You ever get that way? It's a great feeling, right? It's like the, you, literally the goal is to feel that way every single time that you step in the gym. But on the flip, do you ever not feel like that? Do you ever get in the gym and all of a sudden it's like the exact opposite and you're missing every shot and you're feeling slower and your handles are off and you can't guard anyone and your decision making's off and you're turning the ball over and you're getting flustered? Um, do you ever wonder why that happens? Why can you be so good one day and then so off on the next? It's an interesting question. Um, and it's one that I dealt with a lot in my career. There were tons of times where I felt so good against you know, even the best players, like the best players in the state of Michigan or the state of Detroit or in the city of Detroit or whatever, and I used to drive downtown to play or whatever. And then other times, you know, I'd be playing against scrubs from, you know, the suburbs or something like that, and everything would be off and it wouldn't work. And, you know, I'd wonder why, what, what's the difference? What's going on? Well, I figured it out eventually. And what I learned was, and this is something I've spent a lot of time studying over the last three, four, five years is it's all in your mind. The only difference is everything that's going on between your ears up here. The game is at least 80% psychological. Um, and really all you need to know is you need to know how to get into that peak state really quickly, right? How can you get into that zone where you feel phenomenal and energized and charged up and everything's flowing anytime you want? Once you can figure out how to control that state or get in that zone, everything becomes so much easier for you because all of a sudden every time you play, you feel that good, that's pretty damn cool, right? So the exercise that I use that I learned to control the state and get into that zone anytime that I want, it's called the belief black box, all right? And it's actually, it's a free bonus you get with Effective Ball Handling 2.0, just a free gift for all the ball handlers out there because you know I think it's a really important exercise, I want all of them to have it. And I actually got an email recently from one of the Effective Ball Handling customers, one of the players who's currently going through EVH 2.0, and he used the belief black box, um, loves it, but he also used it for something else that I thought was interesting, I thought you might wanna hear about too. So I'm gonna read this email to you right now. He goes, hello, the belief black box, I used to do it before an intense workout just to get myself pumped. I know it's to make you more confident, but every time I felt wanting to beat the person I was visualizing, I get so pumped that even when I was dead tired and had no energy, just a five minute meditation and I was charged up beyond control. Thank you for that, Alex. Well, you are welcome, my dude, Percy, grind time, and I'm glad that you found the Belief Black Box to be so helpful for your game. And if you're a player out there, you haven't tried effective ball handling, and maybe your handles aren't as good as they should be, and hey, on the side, you also wanna feel phenomenal every time you step on the court with a little special self-hypnosis visualization exercise, which is what the Belief Black Box is, then pick up EBH 2.0 today. Click the link below, you get the Belief Black Box free when you order today, so it's a pretty cool deal. And for all the people that were wondering, a lot of people ask, they ask the question is, where did I get this Belief Black Box exercise from? It's actually a really cool story. Um, there's a guy out there who's in his 30s now, but he was born with a, um, a, a disease. I don't know the exact details of it, but he has been in a wheelchair his entire life, and he's maybe three and a half feet tall. But this is one of the most inspiring men that I've ever um, learned about or read from. He actually has a book I've read and I've watched some of his videos. He has broken a hundred bones at least in his life. He's literally part of his disease that his bones are very brittle. So he breaks bones really easily. He's broken hundreds of bones in his life, yet he's one of the most confident, most outgoing, most successful human beings in the world. I'm not kidding you. This man is a self-made millionaire. So this is an exercise that he uses all the time to keep himself fired up and keep himself going. So I took the exercise from him, I kind of changed it and made it work for basketball players and then I added it directly to affect the ball handling free, um, as a free bonus, excuse me, for you when you order 2.0. So pick that up if you don't have it and later today, trending talk. I got a question last night, someone wanted to know is what does it mean to be a student of the game? I've been talking about that this last week, especially with the NCAA tournament coming up and how when you're watching it, 
should be a student of the game, not just another fanboy. So I'm gonna tell you how to do that later today. It's a really important question. It's gonna be a really important answer. So you're not gonna to wanna to miss it. So I will see you then. Stay grind time. Peace.